guys, uh, so this is a bit of a rant today, um, and this is actually a book that I am currently working on, but it has nothing to do with that. I'm, I'm just sort of getting things in order, but um, yeah, this is what it has to, to do with. Um, this has been, Bear 411 has been an extremely popular bear website that is mostly used for um, social networking and I was chatting with a friend yesterday and thankfully um, our friendship moved from bear for one one to other areas such as Skype and even um, Facebook otherwise I would be unable to contact him again because I um, logged in to my Bear 411 account, and I got an interesting message. Yeah, so they're not allowing the chat services to be used anymore unless you are a paying subscribing member. Um, granted, Bear 411 used to be limited anyway, but that's fine. You could still use it, even if you were an unsubscribed Remember, you can't do that anymore. It is completely locked down now. The owner, Greg, is completely clamped down on all the freebies. You don't get jack squat, uh, which sucks because I'm unable to um, communicate with the friends that I have made there in the time that I have had, had this account, which has been several years. And when I posted about this on Facebook, a, a lot of people said that they were, you know, outraged and extremely upset because they have made friends all over the U.S. and throughout Canada and elsewhere, and they are um, completely unable to get in touch with them, w with them again. Now, what I would have liked to have seen done, at the very least, is if the owner Greg would have sent out some sort of a public notice, you know, um, letting people know, but he didn't. There was no warning whatsoever. I found this out just by logging in this morning, and uh, everything was basically locked down unless you're a subscribing member. Um, you know, I, I, I actually even have a message waiting for me there, as you can see right here. But I'm completely unable to access it. I have no idea who sent it, um, or, or or what's in the message at all. You know, because I'm not a subscribing member now. Um, you can't even use the search feature anymore. You can um, um, what it used to do is when you would click on you know. One of these profiles on the side. Now, let's say you saw a, a cutie here and you wanted to make his acquaintance. Well, if you clicked on this profile, you would have been told that you can only access those profiles on the side unless you were a paying sub subscribing member. Um, but the workaround I found is you just, you know, remember what their user handle is and you just click on the search field to go and look them up. You can't do that anymore. You have to be a subscribing member to, to do so. So, Bear411 now is an utterly useless and unusable website, which, you know, totally sucks because it's completely disenfranchising those of us who have been using it for years. You know, um... God damn, you know, a courtesy warning would have been nice so that I could have um, let people on there I know know. Otherwise, I am SOL because I cannot get in touch with them again. I, I don't know their Facebook profiles. You know, I don't know their um, email addresses. Nothing. And, you know, that really sucks. It's really hurtful. It's unprofessional. It, um... And honestly, it seems a little, a little greedy on behalf of Greg, the owner of the website, you know. 
Um, I, I would have handled things much differently if it were me. You know, I would have at least made sure that this decision was well known to give people a chance to get in touch with their friends and say, hey, uh, Bear for One One's making this change, and if you want to get in touch with me again, here's how you can do it. But, you know, it was really, really a shitty thing to do. But if anyone else wants to know of any, you know, much uh, any other bear social networking sites, I have some that I will totally recommend. Um, uh, the first one is Bear Force, and I'm sorry, I have no control over what is on the uh, on the home page here, but um, it's it's somewhat limited, like Bear Four One One was. Um, but it's it's much more usable. You just have to, um, you just have to go through your old inbox messages and just keep it clean. You know, in order to um, not 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 clean in the sense of you know no nudity or bad language or anything, but um, just make sure that you only have a certain amount of messages there. You know, just delete things that that don't need to be there anymore, and you'll you'll be fine. Um, there are also work ways with that site as well. Um, I have also been recommended HeftyNet, which I am in the process of putting a profile up there, as well as Bear Underground, which I've, I've never heard of these last two sites before. Uh, so if anyone um, has any recommendations that they'd like to say, you know, um, put them in the comment section below. Um, if you have any qualms with Bear 411, you know, um, let your event in the comment section, let let the world know, you know. Um, let's see, and someone else recommended uh, bearwww.com, which uh, also I've never heard of it before, but uh, scrolling down, it looks somewhat promising. I'm, I'm not sure. I don't have a profile there, but um, I, I'm really not one to judge unless I have really put a website through its paces. But um, when I do, I will really let you know. Honestly, this is just a really foolish, foolish mistake on behalf of, you know, Greg, the owner of Bear 411. It was done in a really seemingly an underhanded way, you know. Um, Bear 411 was extremely limited to those of, uh, to those of us who who didn't have subscriptions in the first place, and this I think will really be the death nail of of the website. It's it's a surefire way to really kill it off, I think, um, because a lot of people just aren't willing to to be become a subscribing member. And, you know, uh, if I could support the website, I, I, I probably would, but I don't have the fee, the funds with, with which to do so at the moment. So, right now, um, if anyone watching this um, it has been a friend of mine on Bear411, um, my username was McMorgan, um, get in touch with me here through YouTube, through Facebook, you know, however... However, you uh, you would like to get in touch with me, you know I am I'm here. You know I'm not gone. I'm still a part of the world. You know, um, so yeah, I'm I'm just really upset with this change. It it doesn't sit right with me. It was extremely upsetting when I when I um, discovered it this morning. I was extremely frustrated, angry even, well, no, not necessarily angry, just extremely frustrated by the way in which it was handled. So if, um, well, yeah, that's, that's basically, that's sort of my rant today, you know, it, it, I just feel as though I've been wronged and at a very fundamental level, and that never sits right with me, you know, I'll probably be venting about it on my various social media platforms for days to come because that's just how we roll, you know. I'm, I'm a Pisces, I'm led by my heart, you know, and, and it's just infuriating.